Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So in this one, our goal is metal and bots. So we've done actually a lot of work in here. Now that this little pit is empty of water, we are able to start mining here very soon. All we are missing right now is a connection. So that's almost built as well. We've given this the highest of priorities and it seems the beavers are already... Oh, okay. They're coming from district two as well. Great. So, um... The problem we have here, what we talked about was the power, and I think you might have seen already. I do think we have a bit of a solution. Very simple. I think this will be the least sort of uh, destructive or obstructive way of doing it. And what I'd like to do is, let's just zoom out a tiny bit. We'll raise them up, obviously, to get some uh, better better winds up in, the, up in the sky. I'd like to leave like a little access road or maintenance shaft over here as well. And then the power lines, I think once we reach the, the furthest we want to go, we'd like to bring the power down and then the um, the layer over here, that's where the power wires uh, should, be, uh, should be running in the future. Okay, we just need this bit here as well. And uh, okay, so the beavers will be constructing that. Now this uh, section here, unfortunately, I don't think it's very useful. At least I don't really see it being helpful to us. Because right now it's being connected from here. And if we leave it in, that's going to block our way as well. I mean, actually, never mind. I think it is kind of useful to us. If we delete it till here, then the flywheel is still useful. So that's going down. Oh, wait a second. I don't think we can connect from the side, can we? No, it does not connect. So, yep, this one isn't useful. This one is useful. And how do we connect the rest? I think it's going to have to be the another universal, just like so. Then the road. And then, okay, platform there. Let's try and grab this windmill as well. Okay, now that I think about it, we could have just left the, the wires at the top. Yeah, we might not need this layer here. Okay. Well, let's uh, think about it for a second and... Okay, here we go. I think uh, this layout is a little bit better. So what I've done is I've removed the two high platforms and swapped them out with the triple, triple platforms. So this leaves us the access shaft or maintenance shaft still in here in case we need to change some things around. And then what I'd like to do is at the end over here, if we grab one universal, I think that should be enough. And then a straight power shaft will go here. Hold on a second. Let's have a look at our flywheels as well, because this could be useful for... Oh, you're not really saying that you want to connect here. Let's have a look. Okay, these ones want to connect. But in here, you're not saying... Oh, power connection is blocked for some reason. Well, anyways, let's use the... Oh, I see. Okay, so the only place we can connect is from the lower levels. Yeah, that's um, that's a little bit annoying. That means our plan over here is not going to work. Yep, we can just get rid of them. And maybe we can just do it on the other side. And for the time being, well, if we want everything to look the same, then we can take this tower out one more time. Okay, triple, single, road here, and voila, here we go. So that's going to take a little bit of time for the beavers to construct. But once we do have that power, we'll connect it up and we should be able to start making some pot parts already. Okay, so the next project we would like to focus on is... I've noticed that our blank uh, blank stockpile has gone pretty, pretty low. And since we know that we are going to be cons constructing in District 2 quite a bit, or, or this lake over here... Yeah, there's still a few things I'd like to change around, such as this power station will keep us going for a little while. However, I don't think this is going to be the the system we will stick with. Part of me still wants to clear up this space eventually and start building across this uh, lake towards the other side as well. But um, before we can do that, we are going to need some more planks. So since we have so many logs over here, I would like to start putting down some lumber mills. Then power-wise, okay, we do need some power here as well. Let's grab some of those windmills. So essentially, we're going to have our access road at the lower level. Here is where we can do a couple of power power uh, shafts, okay. Oh yeah, we can 
definitely do the flywheel, so that's going to be cool. What do you guys need? You need some gears and logs. Okay. That's fine. I believe we do have a few gears yet. Yeah, not too many, but I'm sure we can get a few things constructed. Then, um, <laughs> let's see. We still need another layer. This one here as well. We might have to give you... Okay, you're all a high priority. Next thing, we are going to have to transfer that power down probably from from here it seems and my sort of genius brain was thinking okay so we can connect you from behind go underneath and then up again to the other side so this way it's not really visible the problem is we still have to get the power here somehow or connected to this one right so that means we can pull down the power from about here what we could also do is we could let this power run all the way to the bottom so let's have a look what what do we have planned over here? Another platform. Okay. Let's do the universal connection. Because that's going to give us the most options. And now just a few levels. A straight power shaft. And I'm thinking a universal. Oh no, actually. Let's do the T-junction here. And yeah, now all it is up to here. And we can connect it just like so. So that should be our power covered now. I do not think we need this tower anymore. We are going to need that side to be constructed, but the rest of it... Yeah, how many construction beavers do we have in this district? We have four, but I think we have another building over here. Okay, only one. Well, since we don't need the logs right now, I believe we can maybe pause a few buildings. I think we want to leave the forester running. Uh, in case a few of those trees get cut down. Okay, how many? We have two extra ones now. And I believe we have another beaver that is bare. Right over there. Okay, eight beavers constructing. I think things are going to be done here much quicker now. Okay, once we got the ladder done as well, we should be able to climb up there. Let's grab the road. Connect you up. And there you go. It seems our first gears have uh, finally arrived into the into the district, so it shouldn't take us too long to get the get the windmills constructed. I mean, we do need quite a few gears though. That's a uh, 20 per windmill. We got two of them here, so that's 40, and then eight per flywheel as well. But these will be handy because they are going to store a bit of power for us. Right. So 56 plus the small bits. Uh, for connecting the power wires up as well so we can uh, we can probably safely leave you guys for the time being our beaver numbers seem to be pretty pretty good as well logs are pretty juicy we've got tons of water and food is nearly full as well so how are things going here we've got two windmills already constructed okay we can do i think one more you guys have access right i was just worried about this um set of stairs over here I'd like to actually remove it just to make sure that no one is going to get stuck okay so now you can't climb up all the way there which means we can have all of them constructed uh, yep we should have enough gears as well so here we go now to connect them up and have a little bit of power in the storage as well let's try out those flywheels and see what they are like okay here we go Quite a, quite a few of these guys. You're connected, but we're not producing any power just yet. So, unfortunate, but uh, let's have a look. First thing we are going to construct over here. Oh dear, you're going to take some, some gears. So we definitely have to ramp up our gear production as well. Before we can really start constructing those bots over here. Yeah, definitely worried about the number of gears this might take. Um, we'll get the, the flywheels and the windmills done. And um, what we can also do is, let's have a look over here. So if you guys are going to be producing blanks, uh, how much space do we want to leave for you? Okay, I'll uh, figure out a bit of a layout here and we'll be back as soon as we have some kind of an idea. Right, so there we go. After some careful thought, I think uh, something very simple is probably the best solution really. Right, so let's bring up the building plans. I've only done one side because the ruins are a little bit in the way, but essentially, yeah. So this side will be where we are going to store the logs. And I think in the future I'm going to change this around a little bit as well. I would like to get those 
underground piles which stored 1800 resources each so those will be going in the bottom this reminds me we probably need to do some terraforming and or dynamiting as well so yeah essentially those could, would go in the bottom we'll put some levees around it to keep it waterproof and then platforms on top with the uh, large piles just like they are right now to sort of cover up what's actually happening underneath then uh, next to it we're gonna have two rows of three lumber mills at the end this one here is gonna hold the planks and i think we will uh, set it to supply this one probably to obtain a same thing blanks because that's how we make the gears and then at the end same thing oh yeah we are gonna need a couple more platforms here okay just like so triple ones here we go and you will be set to hold oh hold on a second we don't need the platform we can actually use a large warehouse how many resources can you hold a thousand and two hundred okay wow do we need that many probably not but we are gonna stick it here anyways it doesn't look very good in here but it's fine at least we will hopefully never run out of gears now the problem we have right now is the amount of blanks this construction project already takes okay i'm trying to get the roads where they need to go as well and here we go Yep, so a bit problematic. I think we are maybe a little too ambitious with our projects, but that's okay. We don't have to construct this side just yet. All we need is this little piece. And one gear, one log. Can someone please construct it? Oh, here we go. Just a gear now. And then we can unpause these two buildings, can't we? Okay. Here we go. I was just going to say that we are finally producing some planks in here but it's the evening so off you go guys go and have a good rest and then tomorrow we are gonna have to start producing quite a few planks the trout has started seven days so nothing to worry about what i am struggling with a little bit is just trying to get the the platforms where they need to go okay here we go done sorted now we do have our i don't think it's gonna be enough just with one large windmill though right now supplies three five two 150 okay so we're okay right now you guys consume oh okay of course we're fine i mean in the long term we do want another large wheel windmill here as well and then a couple of those small flywheels to store the power let's have a look over here okay all of these are done and they do look a little funky Gotta admit, I do like, yeah, do like how they how they look and the animation, so well done. So our next plan, besides waiting for all those gears to start piling up and having everything constructed over here, I think there's a couple more things we are going to have to do. Since we have a ton of food, uh, let's see, power is going through. We don't have the biofuel here, so we can't make the the pot chassis can we do the limbs oh yeah it's gonna take some gears but let's have a look how many are we producing here perhaps that's something we could ramp up a little bit whilst we are waiting oh maybe yeah because we do have quite a bit of power here actually 2000 oh yeah right so maybe we remove this lumber mill for the time being oh that was the one that connected us to the power oh dear okay fine you guys i think we are gonna have to switch you over okay here we go this one the highest priority i feel someone's probably gonna get stuck over there so um this forester can go as well and let's try and give uh, give them quick access here okay yep someone is definitely gonna get stuck here hide the water and if we want to have a couple more two is probably the minimum right here we go so we can do one here another one will go here as soon as they are done with the construction okay middle pieces yep there we go these guys all three of them are stuck now but that's okay this platform is almost done so off you go we're not gonna build the middle one here just yet because we know what's gonna happen to let them finish off this area here i'm thinking maybe we just do like another 
Another rodent goes down. Yep, we can we can pause you as well. Uh, turn this into stairs. Okay, where are you? And here we go. Now these things should be built pretty uh, pretty quickly. Do they have a reason to go here? Oh yes, they do. So that one needs to be removed. I mean, if we placed you here, this could be pretty interesting as well. But then access, if they go down underneath, seems okay. They have a bit of access, but no. Now let's not put it there just yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's going to get stuck as well. So clean this mess up, everyone. And then let's have some uh, some of those gear workshops running. So you are good to go. Right. Okay. So our production seems to be starting to ramp up a little bit. I've noticed that one of the stockpiles is already empty. So this means, hey guys, I think it's time to start cutting down some more trees. Now, this however brings us to another problem. We don't quite have enough beavers right now. Uh, right, right, right. So let's uh, increase you to a minimum of 20. We do have a few homeless ones. Maybe we do... Let's do 20, 21. Okay, perfect. And we can open this house. So that way, no one's going to be homeless. Okay. Now, filling this one up with blanks. Okay, fine. Let's give you access. Let's give access to this one as well. And is anyone going to be running here? Maybe, or maybe not. We can build this one. Oh, you're saying we have no power now. Okay, lovely. Let's build this one as well. We have two large water mills then. Not water mills, windmills. Okay. And then uh, at the top, I think we... It will be good time to start expanding a little bit. Okay, because those flywheels don't really hold a lot of lot of power, it seems. Yeah, I mean, they are very small. 1,500 hamster power, so... 3,000 in two of those. This way it goes down. And we can probably... Okay, so we can do one here. A couple over here, a couple over here, one here. Okay. And then here we go. That's where we are going to have the windmills as well. There isn't a lot of housing left, but work needs to be done, so... Let's bring a few more pioneers into the district. Now, let's figure out how can we squeeze in a couple more houses since it's only two beavers and we never use those tiny ones oh wait a second it is a little, little bit longer so <laughs> could squeeze you in here but that's where our water production is yeah so i thought maybe we'll place them here but it feels kind of weird to place them in such a dangerous place here but then again these guys are beavers they're resilient so yep let's do another another massive one right over here give it the highest of priority yeah maybe not the highest this should be fine we've got tons of logs here as well so that should be constructed pretty quickly oh this means you probably want to pause one of them um yep you're almost done so here we go pause this one we have eight beavers that are homeless but this one is going to be done any second now so that shouldn't be a problem anymore now yep there we go so that's all good over here everything's constructed as well you guys are fine. Oh yeah, we're waiting for the gears, right? So let's um, zoom over. No power at all. Okay, batteries probably are quite a quite an important thing. Um, I think we'll set it as our next priority. But let's have a look at this forest over here. Th things seem to be going pretty well. I mean, it's nice to see that they're harvesting things, and we do have enough foresters here to make sure that the, the trees are still growing. The oaks are our favorite trees. And how much power are we producing now? Okay. That would keep a few things going. And I mean, drought is only two more days. So why don't we wait until the drought is over? And then we'll be back to check on the progress. Right, so thank God the drought is finally over. Now the gear workshops seem to be operational as well, except one... Uh, you are a little lazy or you're just moving uh, resources around so that's okay we don't really have any spare beavers right now but that's okay we can how much are you guys producing here uh, let's have a look 2300 so that should be fine we don't have the biofuel okay yep 
That's uh, another thing. Maybe we can. I think we can. It's not a maybe. Refinery. Okay, you should be able to pass the power through. Does it pass the power through? Yes, it does. Does it? One more time. It is yellow. Okay, it's saying power connection is blocked. However, I'm pretty certain you'll be still very happy to work in here, right? Okay, biofuel, carrots, or potatoes. We have a ton of potatoes. So that's what we, what we shall do. And it seems the building is nearly constructed as well. So thank you. Thank you very much. Two of them will be working here. Let's have a look. Gears, planks, and we're getting some limbs already. Unable to get all required materials. Yep, yep, we know. You are going to ask for some biofuel, so just give us a minute. What about this? Bot heads. That's already working. Lovely. And you're waiting. What are you waiting for? Okay, potatoes are probably being brought over right now. So yeah, that probably means it would be useful to have yet another storage. Somewhere a little bit closer. Okay, don't know how much of this space we want to take up. Because yeah, we might want to do some more refineries in the area. I think for now, let's just uh, plop it in here. And then uh, we'll figure it out later. Okay, and this one we will set to obtain. We want to have this warehouse as full as we can. Okay, lovely. Maybe higher priority as well. Let's just get it done as quick as we can. Hold on a second. Water is dropping very low. Okay, I think we left them paused for way too long. So, a few of those beavers jump over here. We don't want anyone to get too thirsty here now, do we? Okay, lovely. So, everything's being produced right now. Three hours for the first set of biofuel as well. Oh, never mind. We've already got some in. That means our next priority will be the pot assembler. For that, we are going to need 50 metal blocks, 50 gears, and 100 blanks. And there we go, two bot limbs, we got the bot head as well. And we're not too far from uh, getting our first bot. Now, where shall we send them? I think District 1 is going to need some more help, isn't it? There's like 10 jobs that need a hands-on deck. All right, and here we go. We have finally acquired our first, or very first bot. So, with that guy as well, since we have lots of science, I'm thinking to start swapping out beavers from, uh, from some of the factories over here. Or, another thing, if we don't have enough uh, scrap metal, we could start harvesting from here as well. Let's have a look. 1,000. Let's unlock it. And, okay, where is it? Pretty sure it's connected. One, two. Right, so here he is. Unemployed. Biofuel catalyst. Where are you going, though? What are you, what are you up to? He's carrying nothing, but he's running around like a maniac. Let's have a look. Let's try and change your unemployment. Oh, this building is still paused, isn't it? Okay, that's why we couldn't get anything. We'll do some uh, scrap metal from here. Hold on a second. If we don't need the scrap metal, why don't we make some more gears? Yeah, that seems like a more sensible solution, isn't it? Okay, so if we switch you over, that means someone's going to be working here at all times. That's way better, isn't it? Right, so with the first bot, it seems, um, yeah, ever since we started the factories over here, we've uh, we've had a lot more beavers that are suddenly getting injured, so that is definitely something we need to fix and improve. I think here we had uh, reserved this space for something else, but I do know that we should have quite a lot of space underneath here as well. If only we can actually see what's going on here. Okay, there we go. Another six medical beds. That should keep the beavers nice and healthy. I think, yeah, we were planning to put a road through here as well. Give them a slightly more direct route into our forestry uh, station. And in here, having a couple more water wheels is probably not going to hurt us. I mean, we don't desperately need them, or do we? Uh, actually, never mind. We do need those power wheels. So, so yeah, it's it's um, not power wheels, the uh, water wheels. So it's definitely necessary that we construct them here. And um, 
as soon as we have this ladder done as well we should be able to construct oh yeah there we go right so the bot is now working in the gear workshop and i think we can be pretty happy with this as well you guys are still running around looking for food the efficiency of this place isn't the best i'll be yep i'll be honest but we are certainly gonna change that now the factory over here if we hide you a little bit is going pretty well i've decided to remove one of the planned lumber mills here and place a gear workshop instead just to make sure that we start getting gears a little bit quicker into the district because this one here doesn't seem to be going too fast i mean we probably need some more haulers here as well but right now <laughs> okay two pots now and one of them is a little bit bored so is it gears that we want yes i think it's still the gear so let's uh, change you over okay lovely yep this is starting to ramp up uh, slowly but surely we have a few planks already being produced and stored in here now the log gathering is going well i think we could add a few more flags in here so yeah bringing more beavers in here will be will be useful for sure okay yep so production here is going well we are very close to having these gear workshops done as well i do want the flying wheels to be constructed first though yeah because these these guys are going to be hidden away and they will hold and store quite a bit of our our needs in here so there we go maybe we give you the highest priority as soon as we get some gears available let's get this um, little route down over here and then we can run the gear workshop as well what i've done here actually i don't know if i showed you already or not but essentially it goes underneath and then the power goes up so hopefully and uh, these will be connected to the power from from underneath but i guess we'll we'll find out if it doesn't then we can do something similar that we did with the, the lumber mills over here and um yeah okay so happy days things are going well both factories are now operational they're not at its max capacity just yet but baby steps that's how it's that's how it's going and i'm certain it will work out so for the next episode we'll probably have some of these areas already done i mean all we have to do for uh, right now is wait for the resources so that's not very interesting i'll uh, let the game run for a little bit so this zone is constructed over here and then we can start planning out how we want to do the production on the on the lake here as well uh, especially now that we have the pots so everything could be running 24 7 we just need to make more pots very very quickly metal oh yeah we do have a little bit but that's probably the next re resource alongside with where is the gears well, gears are okay right now but these are the two most important resources that we need to start getting fairly quickly and producing over here before we can ramp up our pot production but okay i think that's pretty good amount of work that we have done in this episode so once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode